Missing 101-year-old woman has been found safe at a bank in Canton. It was over 24 hours of agony for a Westland family when May Baker went missing after she was supposed to drive to get ice cream and visit a friend. The great news is that she was found about an hour ago, and we do want to go live now to 7 Action News reporter Kim Craig. And Kim, do we know who spotted her? Yes, Amir, and that's what's crazy. She was actually spotted by a teller here at this Huntington Bank, and it was his day off that this happened. Now, he came to this Huntington Bank on Ford Road just before 4 o'clock this afternoon to do his own personal banking when he says he spotted Miss Baker. Now, EMS arrived here about 25 minutes ago to begin checking her out after an agonizing 26 hours for her family when she didn't return home yesterday. She wouldn't do this. On our own. Phyllis Williams says her mother, 101 year old May Baker, left her Westland home Monday afternoon to visit a friend who lives just two and a half miles away in Inkster on Hazelwood near Middlebelt. Just stopped by because she wanted to go get some ice cream too. And, um, she just didn't make it back. May Baker's friend said she never even made it to his house. Her family then called police as the grandchildren began to search. I know it's good people out here. I just hope she runs into one of them and, and, you know, they help her. But Phyllis says she can't help but fear that her mother may be the victim of foul play. Well, she not lie. She probably <laughs> met with the wrong person. Because um, they said there's no accidents that have been used by that car. Phyllis says her mother was diagnosed with dementia a couple years ago at the age of 99, and they took her car away. But last month, she bought a car like this one, a 2010 Sky Blue Ford Fusion. We didn't know she was getting it. They battled all the time because she didn't want her to have a car anyway. But we see who won that argument. And loved ones say they wanted her doctor to help revoke her driver's license. She went and he evaluated. He gave her the okay to do it. To have her license. Yeah. Though. And thankfully, just before 4 o'clock this afternoon, May Baker was found safe in Canton at a bank. Her family so relieved. It was one of the tellers that work here that recognized her. He knew her from other past experiences being with her. He was coming in today just to do some personal banking. So he came in, he, he said he was at the counter, he looked over and she's at the teller next to him. And EMS crews just left with Miss Baker. Now, we do want to also tell you that Canton police say it appears that she is fine physically. And one sergeant even told me, hey, she appears smart as a whip. But we do know that there are a lot of families out there that want to find out more about having someone re-examined for their driving privileges. And we'll have that information on our website at WXYZ.com. For now, reporting live in Canton, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you. So happy to hear there's a positive update to that story. Appreciate that report. And